Glenn Doran appeared in multiple PDC events before winning his tour card in 2019, including three UK Opens and three Grand Slams, where he was a representative of the now defunct BDO, which is where he previously played his darts. He had a very successful 2015 in the BDO system, winning his first two televised majors, the World Masters and Finder Masters, before retaining these titles in the following year. Despite only winning one BDO major in 2017, it was the biggest of them all, as he became the Lakeside World Champion, beating Danny Nopper in the final. 2018 saw him reach the final of every BDO major, with Daza adding three trophies to his collection, including his second world title, which he won in a tie-break against Mark McGuinney, and his first world trophy. Ahead of the 2019 BDO World Championship, which gave him the chance to complete a hat-trick of BDO World Titles, Duran announced that he would attend PDC Q School, which occurred shortly after Lakeside, whatever his results in the World Championship were. Duran won his third BDO World Title, beating Scott Waits in the final, and just four days later, he was off to Wigan to play in Q School. He started the first day by taking back-to-back -back whitewash wins before losing in the last 1-8 in a deciding leg to Darren Heroini. He dropped just two legs on his way to the third round on the following day, but once again lost in a deciding leg. On the third day, he got all the way to the final four, with his only close game to that point being a deciding leg win over former UK Open finalist Barry Bates. His semi-final match against Reese Robinson was for a tour card, but he lost 5-2. On the following day, which was the fourth and final event, he had to win a semi-final or finish high enough in the Order of Merit spots. Going into this day, Darren was sat 11th on the Order of Merit, which was the final tour card spot. He dropped just one leg in the first two rounds to set up a tie with Matthew Denon in the third round. Darren went 4-2 down in this first of five game, and Denon missed three match starts which would have ended Daza's tour card hopes. However, he managed to win this game in a sudden death leg, and then won two more games, putting him on 12 points which was enough for a tour card. He had a great start to his PEC career, reaching a Pro Tour final on his first Players' Championship weekend, and winning his first title on the next weekend. In March of that year, he gave up his job in housing, which he had for over 30 years, to focus on darts full time. He won his second PDC title in May of that same year, However, the biggest moment of the year for him came at the World Match Play, where on debut in Blackpool, he beat Adrian Lewis in the first round, Michael Van Gerwen in the second round, and James Wade in the quarter final, before losing to Michael Smith in the semis. He got to the semi finals of both the Grand Prix and Grand Slam in the same year, before reaching the quarter finals on his Ali Pali debut, where he lost to Gerwin Price. Following the final of this World Championship, the Premier League lineup was announced and Durant was included, having appeared as a contender in Glasgow in 2019. He started this Premier League season well, only losing in one of his first six matches. However, the 2020 season was then heavily impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic and there was no competitive PDC darts for nearly four months. When the PDC tour got back underway, Durant had a good restart reaching back-to-back quarter-finals at the first Summer Series event and reaching his second consecutive World Match Play semi-final at the first major back. Following his World Match Play run, the Premier League got back underway behind closed doors and Durant kept his good performances up, allowing him to finish top in the league stages, which featured the world's best players. At the time, Durant became just the third player in history to top the league stage, with the others being Phil Taylor and Michael Van Gerwen. In the playoffs, Durham beat Gary Anderson in a deciding leg in the semi-final, and then beat Nathan Aspinall 11-8 in the final to secure his first PDC major, which has the second highest top prize of any PDC event. However, two weeks after this win, Daza tested positive for coronavirus and was forced to miss some events. He was seriously ill for weeks, and coughed so much that he popped a rib. When he made his return to the Pro Tour, he had a bad set of events, losing in the first round of four of the five tournaments. Following the final day of this block, Durant tweeted saying that it had been the worst week of his darting career 
and that he was going into the next event, which was the Grand Slam, with no confidence. He was right to be concerned, as at the Grand Slam he finished bottom in his group, losing all of his group games with an average below 90. He improves his average to 95 for his first round game at the Players' Championship Finals, but he still lost to Wayne Jones. He then had a decent World Championship, beating Diogo Portella and Danny Bagish before losing to Dirk van Dijvenbode in a deciding set. Following the final of the World Championships, Durham was announced in the Premier League as the defending champion. However, this was the contributing factor to his darting decline as he lost all nine of his games in the league phase, failing to average over 90 on any occasion and finishing bottom of the league despite topping it in the previous year. He became the first player in Premier League history to finish on zero points. These nine losses were part of a 17-match losing streak, which ended at the 19th Players' Championship event, where he beat Joe Cullen. Around this time, Durant said that he knew what was wrong with his throw technically, and that he was working hard to try and fix it, but it was hard as he was thinking about it too much. He stated that he was pulling his arm too far back, and that he also went into panic mode regularly. He even stated that he knew there were problems arising with his throw during his Premier League winning campaign the previous year. Despite this acknowledgement, he continued to struggle. At the World Match Play, where in the past two editions he had reached the semi-final, he lost in the first round with an average of 84, despite the fact that his opponent averaged 82. However, his worst major performance of the year was still to come, as he hit rock bottom at the Grand Prix, averaging just 58 in a 2-0 loss to Jose de Souza. He then embarked on a 19-match losing streak, which lasted 268 days. During this time, Durant left a block of pro tour events early, saying that his 70 averages were not going to cut it, and also quit a match early after going 4-2 down. He has since stated that this was one of his biggest regrets, saying that he was stupid to do it. Durant also lost 3-0 winning just one leg and averaging 80 in the first round of the World Championship. The wins which ended the streak came in April 2022, when he beat Tony Martinez and then Dimitri van den Berg at a Players' Championship event. However, he was unable to push on, with that win against Dimi being his last victory in the PDC. He never even averaged over 86 again. His final game in the PDC came against Jamie Clark in the Tour Card Holder World Championship Qualifier. He lost his Tour Card following this game and was no longer a pro darts player. He said that he was not going to Q School in 2023. The day after this game, it was announced that he had accepted an invite to the World Seniors Championship and since losing his Tour Card, he has worked in the commentary team for the Moda Super Series. He also now offers coaching and has taught many players so far. Unfortunately, he lost 3-0 on his World Seniors debut with a 77 average.